Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So 90 Day Fiance star Tom Brooks is being called a scammer for posting pictures of a mansion that he claimed was his. Come to find out, they were not. So Tom has not been a fan favorite for quite some time. I mean, I don't know if he was ever a fan favorite. I started kind of after like, I don't know, I think I started watching 90 Day Fiance their season at like episode four. I never actually went back to like one, two, and three. I think it was like episode four. When I started it, it was already like rocky roads for him and Darcy. She was already learning about his infidelity, him posing pictures with another blonde in Paris. So I never liked him. But I, so I don't know if he was ever a fan favorite. But I know when I started watching in watching him, I quickly realized that he was a douchebag. Um, while he looks very savvy and he looks like a wealthy you know english gentleman he never was uh, there was one incident where he and darcy met up and i think it was new york where she was going to kind of close you know the chapter kind of get some closure from their relationship and he took a jab about her weight and that was the point that i thought this dude is probably going to get canceled now i think he's pretty much been canceled but he is still holding on to any bit of fame that he could get he's still you know, trying to continue that 15 minutes and drag it out as long as possible. He recently posted a series of interior photos from a mansion in England to his Instagram stories and wrote, just moved in. It will be our second home for the summers. Talking about him and his girlfriend, right? Now, of course, the internet does what the internet is known to do. Someone done some digging and they found the home. After the fan done this digging and found the home, they started a Reddit thread to call Tom out on his lie. The fan wrote, so I did some digging and found the home Tom claims to have recently purchased. It is currently listed as for sale with no mention of it being under contract. Also, all of the furniture, bedding, and artwork are the exact same as in the real estate photos. Tom, you just got busted. I'm going to show you guys the pictures. Like, I'm going to show you guys the pictures that, that Tom posted. And then I'm going to show you guys the pictures that's on the website. Okay, so those photos are identical. It literally looks as if Tom got the photos off the website and posted them to his IG. Um, th that's what he done, right? After this fan called Tom out and this Reddit thread was started, he ended up deleting the pictures in question, clearly realizing that he was busted. So this man, I've heard this before. I've heard before that he posts pictures with things that's not really his to make it look like he's more wealthy than he really is. Is he wealthy at all? I don't know. I mean, he does play the part. Like, he looks like a very, you know, put together, wealthy English gentleman. But we know he's not a gentleman. Is he wealthy? I don't know. Because he clearly likes the fake things. So has he posted other stuff and been busted has he posted other things and not been busted when it was fake i don't know that tells me there though that he is enjoying or he's trying to hang on to this fame that he has he's trying to make it out like he's something that he's not just be happy with yourself dude just be happy with what you have and who you are why pretend that you own this mansion it's ridiculous. I mean, it's funny to see that he was called out. Did he think that nobody was going to look into this? You guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Tom being called a scammer after posting pictures of his new home when really those pictures he apparently got off of a real estate listing. You guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this type of content, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit your notifications bell so you are notified of each time I upload new content. Give this video a thumbs up and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.